Now you have your email address, you can use the email software. Click on Email. Click on Write Emails. A new page opens headed Write an Email. Before I show you how to do this, look at the bottom of the screen. There are a number of buttons here. The back button will take you back to the previous page that you were viewing. Notice when I touch the button it changes colour and if you hold the pointer still over the button you will see a message appear to tell you what the button is for. This type of message is called a tooltip. On this page the tooltip tells you that the back button will take you back to the email menu. You'll soon discover that every button has its own tooltip. Next to the back button is the tutorials button which will open the list of tutorials to do with emails. The home button will take you back to the home page. And next to this is the text button which allows you to change the size of the text on the screen as you're viewing it. When you put the pointer on the plus sign and click, the size of the text will increase. Click on the minus sign and the text becomes smaller. Now, the first thing you need to do when writing an email is enter the email address of the person or organisation you want to write to. To do this, put the pointer in the white box and click. The text in the box disappears. After you have watched this tutorial and you're writing your first email, the only address you will definitely have is your own, the one you recently set up. So you should type it in the space provided. I'm going to type Valerie S. Simplicity Computers dot co UK. Click on the next button. If the email address has something missing, it will not be recognised and a box saying invalid email address pops up. Check the address you have used. Ah, in this case, I have missed out the all important at sign. So click on OK in the box. The box disappears. I can type in the at sign between the two S's and it will now be OK. Valerie S at simplicitycomputers.co.uk Click on the next button. If the email address is new, a message box headed creating new contact opens in the middle of the screen and asks you to enter the first name of the person you are emailing. So, I'm putting Valerie. When you do this for the very first time, you will obviously type in your own first name. Then click on OK. A second box opens immediately and here you type in the last name. I type in Singleton and click on OK. The reason for doing this is to save email addresses in your address book automatically. So in future, when you want to use the address again, you'll be able to find it straight away in your address book. You will now see the address box has moved up and a new box has appeared below it. In here, you write the subject of your email. I am going to type Arrival Time. Then click on the Next button. A new page opens and where it says Enter Message Here, you type your message. Put the pointer anywhere in the white box and click. The cursor now appears at the top left-hand side of the writing area, replacing the three words. You can now write a message. Here's mine. I will be with you at about 
Val.